That's right, we're live, guys. What's good? This is J Dogging. We're here on episode 10. This should be a milestone, guys. Holy shit. Like, we're, we're actually committing to something. We're here today with uh, Adrian of WAF and uh, uh, Merciless Troll. What's going on? Introduce yourselves. You just did. Why should we have to do it? Well,. Well, I'm, I was talking. I was talking to Merciless Troll over Merciless there because uh, you've never been, been here. here. So how you doing? How you doing? Now I can hear myself. I can hear myself. That's not. Good. I can hear you twice too. Daniel. Daniel. I can't hear anybody twice. Well, okay, okay. Now I can't hear myself twice. How you doing, Daniel? How you been? I've been flipping great. Making that money, playing those games. That's good. Tell uh, about it. Tell our viewers uh, who who you are, I guess. A little little well, intro to yourself. I'm Daniel. I game. I eat. I sleep. That's pretty much it. There you go, gamer. Daniel, the most boring motherfucker in the world. Wow, okay. Adrian, which everybody <laughs> should know, um, well, I don't know, it depends on how often you watch OECast, but Adrian has been on with us a couple times before. How you been, Adrian? I have been fine and dandy, my good man. Cool. Fine and dandy. Cool. You, you, ready, uh, you ready to go over some topics, guys? After, I mean, after I was I'm born ready. After I'm sure you guys shared the status like 50,000 times, right? Uh, was I supposed to do that? Yeah, yeah, kind of. That would require picking up my phone. It would be like a whole thing. Amazing. But you know what, man? I'll do it for you. Watch this shit. Shares incoming. Thanks, man. Daniel, that means you too. You can't get out of it, dog. So, what happened? Uh, shared. You know exactly what happened. Well, you guys are doing that. Um. Oh, where are those results? Oh. Why do I not have those up? Um. For those of you, those of you that were with us last week, uh, you know that we had the more. Uh, open qualifiers our first one was last Saturday uh, of course uh, of course that finished off with the top eight moving on to the invitational on May 2nd along with the top eight that are going that the top eight coming from the second qualifier coming up on Saturday both those top eight will go into the 16 up against the 16 pros in the May 2nd Invitational. Eight of those players uh, are Shoop, Nick Chipper, Gosu Forever, Sid, Danier, Genji Speed, Jump, and Zen. Congratulations to those players who won the first qualifier. And good luck to everybody who is in the second one. I'm sure it will be great. Uh, it will be streamed on uh, Mer more Hearthstone Twitch. If you do not know where that is, it's M O A R Hearthstone. It's their Twitch channel. Um, 
you can find the link on the WordPress or their Facebook group if you have access. And that's pretty much it. I'm I'm excited about this. This is gonna be gonna be a great tournament. It's gonna be tippy top. Dude, we I mean we're gonna have we're gonna have sixteen pros on the second. Now, that's that should be that should I'm be just hoping to get their sloppy seconds, that's all I'm here for. Wow, dude, that, I'm not, I'm not sure Whoa, what to say it's about the that. Whoa, seconds. I want the trippy thirds. Hey, hashtag goals, man. So, moving on. So, you guys, you guys know who Optic Gaming is. You know who Phase. You know who Denial is. Who doesn't know who Optic Gaming is? Especially in esports. I'm just saying. I'm just making sure you know. What you may not know is a nade shot actually left the Call of Duty team. I did know that because I'm in the know. Officially left the Call of Duty team. He was to be replaced by uh, Karma coming from um, the Optic Nation team. But apparently uh, due, due to, I guess, uh, citizenship uh, issues... He's going to be subbed in for now by Enable, who is actually from Phase Red, if you guys don't remember. Oh, yeah. So, that was that was for the um, Esports World Cup, by the way. That's what the sub was for. And the funny thing is, uh, uh, apparently Formal and Wyatt, are, well, which is Enable... And Optic Formal were uh, two of the two uh, and Crim Six. They all played in the Halo scene, but only Formal had won a championship. And if and so he won a Halo and a COD championship. So if Matt won a COD championship with them, he also would have won a Halo and COD championship. So Formal was kind of just like, ha ha ha. If we get to the finals, I'm going to throw the last game because there can only be one Halo and COD champion. Lols. <laughs> Lols. Did you just say somebody from FaZe is going to Optic? Oh my god. Where have you been? Are you not listening? <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't want to interrupt you, so I just no. let you keep talking. <laughs> en- Enable, uh, who was in FaZe Red during the last Call of Duty tournament, was picked up by Optic Gaming to sub in for Karma because he couldn't be in the Electronic Sports World Cup, I think it is. Um, that's is he what, the dirty foreigner? I mean, I'll, I'll, I sh- hope that's not the issue. We're all diverse, right? Uh, no, as far as I know, this podcast right now is pretty, pretty one, uh, one note. Wow. Always counting you, Andrew. Hey, that's what I'm here for, bro. So, uh, who likes NBA 2K15? And you guys played it yet? Never played it. Daniel, never played it either. No? Well, uh, anybody who does like NBA 2K15 can get it free this weekend off Xbox Live. Isn't that, it's not actually a free game, aren't they just doing it free to play? Yeah, I think it's only free to play for the weekend, which is kind of lame, but I mean, they do also give out a free game every month, so it's not bad. And I guess that is, in theory, the most modern version of it, so get your taste, see if you actually like it. Well, if you really think about it, I guess. Um, is it free to play on the Xbox One or? Yeah, Xbox Xbox. Well, you gotta be a gold member. So, <laughs> Xbox Gold members can play NBA Two K Fifteen. Ah. Ah. So you got to be gold. If you have gold, look for it this weekend. Do it today. T- today. 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 It's complete without doing it. Uh, uh, we got Destiny um, 
we got a little Destiny update. I guess they're coming out with a new expansion pack yet again. Which so oh, now an expansion pack or DLC? Uh, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing at this point, right? You, you still well, gotta pay for expansion packs, anyways. Like for the, what they did for Diablo, they just made a completely different game. Well, they're they're coming out they're coming out with with what they call um, the House of Wolves DLC, which some people have already leaked out some info on, um, and it's it's actually some of it's been confirmed today because they actually did a live Twitch thing, um, kind of like a show off thing from Bungie, I guess. They were playing the expansion today. It was interesting. I didn't. I personally didn't get to watch it, but um, I personally didn't yeah. either, so don't feel bad. <laughs> would you? Would you have though? Would you? I mean, you know, you don't know my life. I, I could completely change the things I'm highly interested in overnight. You could. <laughs> oh my God, guys! What's that noise? Uh, this episode brought to you tonight from San Jose International Airport. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, so those those of you that don't know, uh, House of Wolves is set to launch on May 19th. That is the official date. I actually have a trailer for uh, our viewers to watch. Oh, how thoughtful. I know, right? I thought it was good. Enjoy. The wrath of the Queen welcomes you, Guardian. You are cleared to dock at the Queen's Bay. Yeah, so that was their little uh, Twitch trailer, which they already did this morning, so I can't really give anybody a date on when to watch it, but you can go to Bungie's Twitch and hopefully watch their recent videos, if, you know, if Twitch even does that anymore. <laughs> they kind of get... No, the Twitch does these days. They kind of I don't know, they get stingy about it, like, if you're a subscriber... And the viewers not subscribed, like you can't watch your videos. But then, if you're not a subscriber, you can. I don't know. It's Twitch is a mess. I blame Amazon. It's most likely their fault. Wow, that's not. Um. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to do that. My bad. So, um, have you seen anything on uh, st on Battlefront yet, Adrian? I have not. Uh, did Did you even play it in, on PlayStation or no? Um, not really. That was before I really played a lot of video games. Um, I feel like I played it once when I was over at a friend's house for a sleepover, but. Well, Not real familiar with it. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know if um, Daniel knows, but there was recently the Star Wars celebration. I believe uh, two weeks ago now, right? Or was it last week? I think it was actually last weekend, and they came out with a new Battlefront trailer. I also have that for people's viewing enjoyment because. It, you know, honestly, it looks like a game. Like, the trailer looks so good, and it says it's game. It comes straight from the gameplay. Honestly, if these are the gameplay graphics, I don't know. I don't even know if my computer will be able to handle it. Well, that's always nice. Well, I mean, I could always. I'm gonna get it on Xbox, anyways, but. Shit. 
They look beautiful. What is all that noise over there? Damn. Oh my god. What? I just went outside. Calm your shit. Whoa, something's making hell of noise on your end. Anyway, here we go. Bow, and bow from on, is is very alive or something? I just don't understand what's making all that noise. Battlefront, car Battlefront trailer. I live in an apartment complex, so you're bound to hear cars. <laughs> now they're really gonna bring ODST campaign to the Master Chief. <laughs> Are they like gonna bring like Halo 3 multiplayer maps back too? Or I didn't read it like that. I mean, I like the ODST campaign, but I mean, if they bring Halo 3 like multiplayer maps back, that'd be pretty cool too. Especially Valhalla. Valhalla was a pretty cool map. so I can get on in this Halo train. Get on the what? Diablo 3, removing greater rift trials. What? Do either of you know if Diablo 3 is going to make like another game or whatnot? If they're going to make another D3, like an expansion to that, or if they're going to make a D4 or something. Yes, Halo 3 is getting, um, anyway, that was, uh, that was another Battlefront trailer. I'm personally impressed. I like the look of it. It looks amazing. It looks movie worthy. Speaking of movie, we got that trailer for you, uh, later tonight. Uh, actually, we got a couple movie trailers later tonight. It's, um, there's some, yeah, there's some good movies coming out. Yeah, there are. Stop. that Terminator, that Jurassic World. That Terminator, though. Did you guys? Did you guys ever get to play State of Decay? Come on, honestly. I have seen a bunch of gameplay videos from State of Decay. I've never actually played it. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I've never even heard of it. <laughs> really? Well. State of Decay um, was a zombie survival. Um, I guess. Oh, wait, no. I, think I, I think I did hear about it. I think I've seen a couple gameplay videos of it and whatnot. Okay. Well, it was a it, it was a zombie survival game. It was short, honestly, in my opinion. Um, I'll know about those who played it. What you guys thought? Apparently they came out with a new, um, what was it, year year edition, year edition or ultimate edition? I guess they're calling it. And I guess I uh, apparently from this review, it's just the same game. That should have been. Uh, like they they could have made it better. They honestly could have. Well, I'm d I'm down to. If I ever get a chance, I'll definitely. I'm always down to try out a good zombie game. Yeah, it's it's definitely worth a try, but it's it's gonna leave you just kind of sitting there like, really? Like what? Is this <laughs> is this how it ends? This is where it stops. I don't go any further. But I mean, 
it is just an indie game, so I guess you can't expect too much out of it. I can expect anything I want to, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> unless you're Adrian over here. I mean, he expects whatever he wants. Damn right. <laughs> America. America. Man, if he, if he wants to expect good things and gets bad things, that's all up to him. So, um, what uh, since Daniel was talking about it, what do you guys think of ODST campaign dropping into the MCC collection? Or the MC collection? I mean, I feel like it was a little bit inevitable, honestly. The whole point of this game is that it was taking everything from all the old Halos and putting it together. Yeah, true. But did, wait, did 343 even make ODST in the first place? Because that was a I bun- don't think so, but they also didn't make Halo 1. I think, one, I think ODST was the last game that, in, that I was about to say Infinity Ward, that uh, <laughs> Bungie made, yeah. That's what I thought. But I get so yeah, they may uh, bring ODST campaign back into the Master Chief. I I honestly wouldn't mind if they brought back firefights. That that was kind of fun. I mean, yeah, I, kinda, I definitely played the firefights from ODST. I kind of enjoyed those a little more than the actual campaign, and those were repetitive. It was re- it was really enjoyable for firefights when you played on like heroic or legendary or whatever. Oh yeah. That, no, no. I remember back in the day playing with Nico and stuff on firefights. Oh my god, such intensity. <laughs> we got Glenn in the chat. What's good, Glenn? How you doing? Um, G to the Lin. G to the one. That... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Daniel, how much do you know about Black Ops 3 now? How much do I know about it? Yeah. Um, all I know so far is what that teaser trailer that they put up and the fact that they might... I believe they it's confirmed that they're bringing exosuits and whatnot from advanced warfare to it i'm not really psyched about that i did not like the exosuit idea in advanced warfare i have literally not heard one person that likes that idea of bringing those into the new black ops yeah i would not at all be surprised if at some point we hear that oh we weren't actually gonna do that it was this other thing and stuff and oh look they're magically not there yeah, I don't. I don't think it was confirmed yet, especially because the world reveal trailer isn't till well, Sunday, I believe, the twenty sixth. That, that's when they're gonna, they're gonna have to eat whatever comes out, cause. I mean, if they, I'm not, I'm not totally against exosuits, but if they're like advanced warfare exosuits, that might be that's. A little too much. If it's just like little tiny movement increases, not so much aerial battles, maybe it's not going to be that yeah, bad. That's one thing that I did not like about Advanced Warfare was the 15 million ways you can dash, jump, and fly or whatever. Yeah, well, it's just it's just way too much to go on in one shooter game. That that just that just kind of like brings in the aspect of. Um, just different dimensions to killing people, I guess. I mean, I get they were trying to, the, the whole idea of advanced warfare, but I mean, it there's mm-hmm. just there's just so much that you can do or whatever, and I feel that the exosuits took a lot of the the fun in the gameplay out of it, especially yeah. if you're like like it. It's okay, and like if you're doing shoot 'em up game modes like domination and all that stuff, but like for things like search and stuff, it definitely just it takes a lot out of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's the I, I think there's a difference between like advanced warfare. I'm I'm just saying there's not really a connection between being 
an advanced warfare game and having air battles like how is that advanced technology anyways I get that exosuits are advanced but why would people honestly be jumping in the air and shooting each other with guns on a battlefield it's that's what I like, like, <laughs> put it like a more simpler use for exosuits like uh, I get the whole it gives you some sort of extra strength or whatever but the f being it, they might as well have just put freaking jetpacks like they did in Halo. I mean, yeah, or like it might as well have been Titanfall, which was a really good game actually. I'm surprised. Well, this is one of the things I'm out. thinking is that they're probably trying to cash in on some of the success Titanfall had by, oh, these are the elements we think people liked about it. Well, well, that's the funny thing, if you don't remember uh, that. The Probably um, not. one of one of the um, developers that left Activision made um, who who was it? No, it was the guy from Infinity Ward who left Activision to make Respawn, who made Titanfall. I forget his name. Um, Nerdy McCodes a lot. He was he was one of the coders from Call of Duty Four. Like, that's how far back it went. That's how far back he went. But it's, defi it's definitely been proven that, Col that COD's uh, ratings have definitely been dropping since the last installment of War Modern Warfare. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, I've, re yeah. I've read in uh, a few articles that... Well, not a few articles, but one article specifically quoted that they, they were... Activision was boasting how they were selling ghosts not to actual customers but the copies to resellers and then when Advanced Warfare came out the only thing they were boasting about was that it was doing better than ghosts <laughs> exactly so like that article or whatever that you sent me it was saying like how ghosts was by far the worst rated Call of Duty that they've ever made and advanced warfare isn't that far ahead yeah i don't i mean some people like it i mean if you if you could be a pro at it and like if you could More be a pro, you. pro at it make money at it yeah there you go a lot of people a lot of people can do that stuff i mean especially honestly i don't know how you can go from being a halo champion to being a cod champion like that just blows my mind right there just thinking back to that. Warfare basically is, in my opinion, would make the transition from Halo to Call of Duty much easier because that's basically what, in my opinion, what Advanced Warfare was, was basically just a more complex version of Halo. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, I want to stop everything for a sec, and um, I want you guys to say hi to Keith the Geek in here uh he just showed up he's actually going to be uh hosting our both of our tournament streams both this saturday and next saturday oh so, what's up dude bill big welcome to him how's it going um but yeah i mean i don't i i just hope they go in the right direction if they do want to go with exosuits if they don't I mean, that, I don't know. I'll yeah, just, if they put exosuits in there, they got to definitely, they need to definitely simplify what you can do with an exosuit. Otherwise, it's just going to be another disappointment from Advanced Warfare. Because in that article you, were, you sent me, it was like, this could be the make or break for Call of Duty. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And Black Ops 3 is definitely, it's definitely the tipping point be for a lot of people that I know. Well, it basically determines whether they'll buy another COD, especially made by uh, somebody else. A lot, of, a lot of people are putting their chips on the table for Black Ops 3. But yeah, I'm hoping Black Ops is going to be a maker for COD 
we can well, only Black Ops between the first and second one, that's like their most uh universally popular as far as just the people I know and have played with that don't aren't hardcore Call of Duty fans. The Black Ops franchise is definitely the That's the one that everybody it, plays. Yeah. But it's definitely a peak for Call of Duty. I mean, more people have played the Black Ops franchise than... Once Modern Warfare 3 came out, the Modern Warfare franchise kind of dropped. Yeah. And then they made, then they made Black Op, the Black Ops franchise, and it kind of picked itself back up. Yeah, I didn't really get how people stood too much into Modern Warfare 3. Call of Duty kind of just died after uh, Black Ops 2, in my opinion. It did. It definitely did. Um, for if they do end up getting back back up back in the game with Black Ops Three, they need to. They're gonna end up needing to develop the one after that really really hard because the way that they made Ghosts, especially if you played the campaign, they have to they they have to make a second Ghost. It's funny you mentioned that because I have yet to play Ghost Campaign. <laughs> yeah, because the end of Ghost Campaign, it definitely leaves you hanging for a second Ghost, if they do call it Ghost 2 or whatever. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't even think I've held on to a copy of Ghost long enough to even play it, so... I used to, I used to own Ghost, but I traded it in to get... I can't remember what other game I had, but I ended up trading that in, and I had Advanced Warfare for like a week, maybe, and I traded that in. Yeah, I never played much of Mo Mom Warfare 3, Ghost, or... I do, I do have Advanced Warfare, but I still don't play it a lot. But Call of Duty that I still own is Black Ops 1 and 2, and I have Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3. I want to play Black Ops 1 some someday. Someday I'll go back and play it again. But, yeah, uh... ended up buying me four months of Xbox Live because he wanted me to play Black Ops 1 with him, so he, get, he did that. I went to GameStop. I got Black Ops 1. I got another Black Ops 2 disc because mine broke, and I got... Um, I think that's when I bought Advanced Warfare as well, like, because I wanted who? to try it out, and who then I didn't try it in with like a week. Who was this? <laughs> huh? Who did you say this was? Who? What? I said, who did you say bought you this? Brett bought me four months of Xbox Live. Oh, Brett. Oh, he's such a good guy. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, I want somebody to play Black Ops 1 with, so I'm going to buy you Xbox Live. I was like, well, all right. And the day before that, my friend Jameson, you remember Jameson, old, good old Mordecai from D&D? Yeah. <laughs> he he <died>. spent, like, <laughs> I think it was like 50 bucks or so and bought me Civilization 5, the complete edition. I was like, what the hell did I do to deserve all this niceness? Damn. People love you. Yeah, so me, so me and good old Mordecai... Oh, place so <laughs> pretty much every other day nice well shit that's pretty cool anyway moving on well, children been, mm, um yeah. i don't moving know on. i don't know if you guys uh got to watch the uh, iron games atlanta this weekend for hcs only very briefly I I I'm just disappointed I didn't get to see the last game, but apparently Winter Fox ended up coming in fourth, unfortunately. Follow following behind Cloud9 in third. Denial Esports coming in second with first being Evil Geniuses, who I believe took the last HCS and um where was that? They did Andrew? indeed. Um in uh, Boston. Yes, HCS. Um, so yeah, the they. Pax East. That's what it was. They they won it. Oh, Pax East. There you go. That's what it was. 
So they want they took home another 10k from here, earning them 600 HCS points um, towards season two of HCS. So, man, if you if you guys watch some of those games, they were they were as intense as some of the ones in Pac East, especially. Um, I think I think we're gonna get a interview by from um, player Nated on Winter Fox. Possibly gonna be talking to him about how he played last weekend. If not, we'll get a uh, pro Hearthstone player. Hopefully, that's playing either next weekend or the weekend after. But uh, of um, course, Nated. Pistola on Cloud9 and uh, Snipe Down on Evil Geniuses. They just played phenomenal as always. Always, um, I don't know, they were all tight games. A lot of the Slayer games were no more than five points, you know, spread. It was, it was a pretty intense weekend, that's for damn sure. Adrian, I can't believe you missed it, man. Sorry, I was busy. <laughs> What'd you say, Daniel? I need to start getting into watching like pro gaming tournaments and all that stuff. Dude, they're a definite time killer, especially when you're like, and and it's and it's great that they're all on like Saturdays too, because that's usually well, just like my lazy day, like Photoshop, watch TV, you know, blah 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 kind of stuff day. I was going to say that was my problem this weekend is I wasn't drastically hungover, so. <laughs> so, you, so you weren't over at my house just trying to, trying to recover. Damn it. That's what we missed this weekend. Damn it, Adrian. You know what? Next time. <laughs> Next time. Y'all need to make a trip out to freaking Folsom and hang out with me. <laughs> I'm right. stuck in Folsom prison. That's that's a drive right there. You should come down to Livermore. You know it's the same distance if he drives it, right? I mean, (laughs) exactly. Because there's more more people out here. Trip, maybe. I mean, I could bring I could bring bread over here. (laughs) If y'all can fucking somehow come get me, I'll definitely go to Livermore and hang out. One day. Because at the moment, I don't have a vehicle considering I had to end up selling my truck because I couldn't afford to fix it. Well, that's nice. Anyway, moving on. I feel like that's the opposite of nice, actually. Oh, no. I was, I was actually being very sarcastic if you did, if you couldn't hear it. It was originally going to be $200 to fix the transmission because it was just a small piece, but my buddy ended up going and fixing it himself and there was just 15 million different things wrong with it so it ended up costing him more well there you go that's owning a car for you (laughs) (sighs) I haven't been down in the Bay Area in so fucking long anyway before we talk about the Hunt Hunt the Truth um, episode 4 I do want to talk about the Diablo 3 is apparently apparently uh, removing the Greater Rift Trials, which they're actually everybody is everybody's actually all for it, believe it or not. Everywhere I've read, there's positive reviews about it. Nobody likes this trials. I, I only I only play the 360 version or the console version. So and I I haven't done a Greater Rift. I don't even know if they, they implemented that in the console version or not. No, I think they have Creator Rifts in console version, but, um, man, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how, uh, what they're, what they're going to do to, you know, I guess kind of fill the hole that that was supposed to fill intentionally, especially for Greater Rifts, which Adrian doesn't play anymore. I do not, unfortunately. Remember, remember when we uh, <laughs> when we played it on the 360 before the yeah. expansion back in the day. 
way back in the day. Diablo 3 was always fun. I definitely enjoyed it. It was. But now I don't have anybody to fucking play it with, so I haven't played it in a while. Huh. Anyway. Yeah, I never ended up getting it for next-gen consoles, so... I got left by the wayside. Well, you... I still yeah. don't have a next-gen console. What the hell? <laughs> oh, that's... I'm still 360. That's right. You still... You still I'm have still, a 360. I'm still old school with the 360. Oh man, what's it like shitting in an outhouse in the woods? <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with 360. Always, yeah. But I do have to say I'm going to be saving for an Xbox One because, from what I hear, they're making a Kingdom Hearts 3 and it's going to be Xbox compatible. I am super fucking psyched about that. What? Real, uh, Kingdom Hearts on the Xbox? That seems... Yeah, normally it's, Play yeah. normally it's PlayStation exclusive, but they're going to make it compatible for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Interesting. I am okay. super fucking psyched because Kingdom Hearts is by, fi by, by, fi by far one of my most by favorite five. ever. <laughs> yes, by five. By five. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I've heard I've heard a lot about it. Never, I haven't actually researched it yet. Would you believe it if I told you that I've never played Kingdom Hearts? Um, actually, I'm pretty sure I know a couple, a few people who haven't played Kingdom Hearts. Well, there you go. Just I just know I've played Kingdom Hearts. I, I I'm need to do it. Among those people, I am among Kingdom those. Hearts was, people. Kingdom Hearts was fun. It, it, Disney combined with Final Fantasy. I I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, and now I gotta go uh, buy an old PlayStation. Great. And speaking three speaking of what, since Disney owns Star Wars, <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them that they put Star Wars into Kingdom Hearts. Oh my god, that would be so weird. Wouldn't it? Like... Uh, they put they put freaking uh, Pirates of the Caribbean in Kingdom Hearts 2. What? Yeah. That's... You get to fucking fight with Captain Jack Sparrow and all that shit. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, well, it was definitely weird because the graphics for the Pirates of the Caribbean area, combined with uh, the original graphics for Kingdom Hearts, like they made the Pirates of the Caribbean part, like act like how they would graphics actual humans and stuff, and then they also had the Final Fantasy people, like type graphics going into. The area, so it was. It was definitely. It was like a switch, and it was definitely. It was very. Inter it was a good game. That's weird. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm probably gonna try it, but it's weird. It sounds weird. Anyway, uh, I'm. I'm sure. I'm sure both of you guys listened to episode four of Hunt the Truth. I d I did. I listened to it today, and I was like, oh shit, shit's about <laughs> to get real. Adrian. All the real. Uh, All the real. Adrian, did you listen to it? <laughs> uh, what? Did you? <laughs> you didn't listen to it, did you? Uh, uh, what were we talking about? Purple. I played the fifth. He <laughs> <laughs> didn't listen to it. God the damn it! It's not the truth. Oh my god. But um. We had to hunt the truth about whether I'd listen to the hunt the truth thing. Yeah, of course. Fucking getting all meta up in this podcast. Because we're hunting the truth, bro. You gotta hunt the truth with us. <laughs> this is, um, man, it just twists and turns, man. I mean, it's, it's gonna I'm, go somewhere. I'm definitely looking forward to what the hell he ends up uncovering. Because if Master Chief did end up screwing up the fucking world or whatever well, like what the shit well that's if he has a job after this <laughs> it what? don't matter that you remember what that lady told him before he went to go see whatever he was like put it in a backup or whatever and then so if he does if he doesn't have a job after that then he'll probably still fucking he, what he's doing right now is rogue work like it's not for anybody or anything just the fact that he works for people well, gives him better resources. Well, no, he's not backing up his work. He's sending it to a friend in case he, like, 
gets killed or something. What do you think that's called, Justin? That is a form of backing up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's a difference between backing up your files and stashing and giving them to someone because you know you're gonna probably die. <laughs> That is a, that's still a form of backing up. You are making sure your shit doesn't get destroyed. <laughs> okay. But so then that that brings up the question. I mean, if he if he gets capped and if he dies, who's gonna be telling the rest of the story? Is it gonna go to his friend? Is he gonna give the files to somebody else to go over? The chick that he was talking to seemed to be kind of sort of into it or whatever. I mean, but she was just trying to keep it off the record because they were listening. So she might, if he ends up getting screwed over and like dies or something, she might take it over or he might have like an assistant or something that was helping him and like continue it. Oh. <clears throat> I, that, could, uh, that could be a possibility, but... That's assuming that she knows his friend that he sent it sent the files to in the first place. So. It's all it's all a fucking mystery. I'm it's just it is definitely intense. It definitely leaves you wondering and wants you to watch again or listen again. Well, I'm a, I'm gonna let Thomas, hold on. Whoops, I'm gonna let everybody listen to the first thirty seconds here, and um. Hopefully it'll captivate you enough to watch it on SoundCloud. I'll actually post the link so you can listen to it later. Hey! The 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 sound, the audio only, is pretty cool. But if they put like an actual video to it and everything, that just make it all the more epic. You know, right? That. I mean, they but mean but it's it. basically, you know. All right, I'm gonna throw a theory out at you right now. What? I think that since it's just an, they're just audio logs. I think that uh, that he actually ends up dying, and these are just put like put out to the public or whatever. These were just put out to the public or whatever or something like that. Well, I don't know, cause then how could he? Well, uh, like I said, they're all audio logs, so. Well, I mean, how could he be saying the things that he's saying? Like, how could he be like, I mean, like, he would have had to just compile all of these, like, basically before he met the girl, which it doesn't sound like he did. Like, compile them all into these episodes is what I'm saying. Like, we're all assuming that he's compiling these episodes himself. Correct. Well, he's also talking as if, like, they can't be live because if they were live, then how would he have been doing all this or whatever, you know? If they were okay, live... Maybe he can like, multitask. No, if they were, if, <laughs> if they were live video logs, then... Instead of worrying about if he's been flagged or not, he probably would have been fla flagged by now if they were live audio logs. So then why would he be asking himself if he was or not? He would have just said, I don't know. That's, it's, that's, a, what, it, that's it, what I'm getting at. If they were live audio logs, then why would he be yeah. asking if he was or not? Because he, what he's talking about is what he was doing at the time, and he's basically doing a voiceover for the events. Well, no, I don't. I don't mean why. Like he, like there. It's a day by day thing. I know he compiles it, but yeah, no, I get what you're saying. It's so that's just the theory I have. Like, so, like he ends up getting so close or whatever, and just I don't know. It's all, it's definitely unpredictable at this point. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. Hashtag Hunt the Truth, everybody. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, we just, I just posted a link to episode four. You can go back and watch episode zero. Um, it starts from zero, you know, zero, one, two, three, four. Uh, 
I actually have a couple movie trailers that I got queued up for everybody's enjoyment because like I said we got some nice movies coming out and it is almost nine o'clock we actually haven't been doing this that long well anyways have you guys have you guys seen any of these trailers yet for Jurassic World Terminator or Star Wars uh I yes yes and yes my yes. friend Yes, yes, I haven't yes. seen one for Terminator. I've seen the one for Star Wars and Jurassic World. Have you seen both the ones for Jurassic World? I've seen all of them for Jurassic World. Some epic ass. I'm definitely. I've always liked Jurassic Park, so I'm definitely psyched to see Jurassic World. Justin's heard the story a million times, but there are now uh, only three movies I've ever cried during as an adult since I turned eighteen. Uh, one of them was up at the beginning because you have to have no heart to not cry at that part <laughs> uh, the most recent one was at the end of Furious 7 I admit it it got me <laughs> I don't even try to spoil nothing I have uh, not there is, there's nothing no spoilers except that it's going to punch you right in the feels <laughs> I, but, I, already, I already knew it was going to do that because my <laughs> Paul Walker is but yeah but uh but the other one was, uh, you know, Jurassic Park had been my favorite movie since I was a little, little kid. It came out in 93, so I was like two and a half years old when it came out. When they did the 20th anniversary re-release in theaters, I, you know, I went out, immediately got my ticket. I was all excited. I was sitting there, and they do that first epic-ass scene with all the music where they see the Brachiosaurus for the first time. And I was like, this is the culmination of all the nostalgia from my childhood. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually ex really excited for Jurassic World. Um, I don't, I, I think I've still yet to see Jurassic Park two. Is there a second one, or am I just there's three. There's, there's 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 the first one, which is Jurassic Park. The second one is Jurassic Park Lost World, which is kind of, and it's not really a second one. It's kind of like a, you remember in Jurassic Park one, the that dude with the glasses. The, with the black hair, he was tall. Jeff Goldblum. And, and, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the, the dude that ends up getting fucked up by the T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But, but lives. Yeah. Um, it's he and I think, was it John Hammond? Who was in it as well? He, who was still trying uh, to... Yeah, who was briefly. Trying to, yeah, he was still trying to put the dinosaur thing pass him but he was like but this guy was like no he was still hooked on no you can't do this whatever mm -hmm. so it's the second movie is based around him and then you got Jurassic Park 3 which goes back to Dr. Grant and they end, he ends up basically getting kidnapped to go look for this kid's son oh. or this dude's son and, or these parents son sorry it wasn't just a dude and they end up going to the second island that had dinosaurs on them. And that island was actually basically secret. Because nobody went on that island. The only thing they knew was the fact that they were making dinosaurs on it. This is for this is for uh, Jurassic 2? No, the, the one that I just talked about was Jurassic Park 3. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I, that's I believe Lost World is the dinosaurs ended up coming to like New York or some shit like that. Like they captured a T Rex or some shit and a bunch of dinosaurs and they brought them to New York or whatever. Well, no, that was only the very end. They brought the T Rex back to San Diego. Yeah, yeah, there they go. They had the theme park there. Hmm. Well, anyway. And the T Rex end, uh, ends up going and wrecking havoc through freaking San Diego. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let everybody watch all three of these trailers. Um, you guys should go to the channel or watch these trailers yourselves because they're pretty epic. I'm not going to lie. I'm not too psyched about Star Wars. Wow. Wow. Did you just say that? Because episode one sucked. Episode two was slightly better than one, but I still didn't like it. And episode three, in my opinion, was just pretty much ball sack. Well, I mean, I enjoyed the whole learning how Anakin went to Darth Vader and all that stuff, but 
they just can't the new one just can't compare to episodes five or four five and six like the original three star wars are just the best by far huh well i mean it's a man in opinion sir chewbacca and harrison ford and all that stuff but you know you just can't get the same nostalgia as you did from the original three well watch the trailers with everybody else should take about a couple minutes Everybody enjoy. That means be quiet. This is Jurassic Park. Oh. I'm really proud of you for going on this trip. You're gonna have so much fun. And remember, if something chases you, decade from genetics than a century of digging up bones. A whole new frontier has opened up. We have our first genetically modified hybrid. We just went and made a new dinosaur? Probably not a good idea. Almost 40 feet high. Really think she climbed out? Depends. On what? What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab? Evacuate the island. She's a highly intelligent animal. She will kill anything that moves. Snap. I am flipping excited. Oh my god! Oh my god, man, girl scream. Um. Dude, I've seen it like five times. I Wait, what are we talking but about? I'm like, are they like controlling the Velociraptors or some shit? Because in that one scene, well, they're they were doing all... the whole we're shit. doing the whole pack mentality thing, where you know, like with dogs or other pack animals, you can kind of like make them think that you're the pack leader and they'll follow you. You don't necessarily tame them, but they're basically yeah. doing that whole concept. Oh. Well, it's not, it, like I said, it sounds like they're doing like a, it's like a genetically modified T-Rex it, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely what it is. Yeah. It's all super intelligent and wreaking havoc. Uh <laughs> huh. <laughs> I don't know. It's it, either way, it sounds like a good movie. Um, I, I definitely think it's going to be a good movie. Jurassic World coming out June twelfth. You guys, you guys already watch a Terminator trailer? 
Yeah. I'm all about it. Yeah. Terminator. Terminator Genesis. This is a, a second Terminator trailer. Arnold Schwarzenegger coming back. Schwarzenegger is coming back, children. He'll be back. I see what you did there. John, you can do this. You just go and you don't look back. life I prepared my son to lead humanity in the fight against the machines. But this night we take back our world! But there was one thing I could never prepare him for. The machines tried to rig the game, send a Terminator back to the time before the war to kill my mother. I'll go back. Let me save her. for over a decade. Wait. The Terminator. It is nice to meet you. I've been trying to teach him to blend in. I know it needs work. John. Hi, Mom. How can you be here? What are you doing? John! What have they done to my son? Survival is what you taught me. Out. Not machine. Not man. A war. I can't leave him. Whatever they did to John, we need a reversal. Everything's changed. We are humanity's last hope. Load up. I've been waiting for you. be back. What? Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> July 1st, guys. Wow, I'm... <laughs> Snap. I don't know. I've I've never actually really I can't say there's a moment where I've been excited to see a movie, but a couple of movies in a row, man. I'm kinda excited. <laughs> um but Terminator Genesis if you guys seen the trailer, that was it's a ride. It looks like I don't know. It looks like something's happening in John that can't quite be explained thoroughly. The other thing is this movie's going to benefit greatly from the whole it can't be as bad as the last one syndrome. <laughs> 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 it wasn't. last one wasn't that bad. Oh, Salvation was one of the worst pieces of shit. Oh, yeah, screen. yeah, no, Salvation was kind of bad. Yeah, it kind of be the big fucking... Hated See, you, it was so bad that you had blanked it. You were thinking of three. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I almost forgot that was part of the series. Um, yeah, I don't know where they were going with Salvation. That was kind of just a turn in the wrong direction. But, I mean, maybe they could turn it around here. Uh, if if they're making John a cyborg-ish. What? I said they had a good idea for salvation, but I mean, it it was a good idea. I mean, uh, um, I don't think Christian Bale was a good pick for that part. For uh, you mean salvation? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. 
I don't know. He played. He played the role fine. It just I don't think he. It, like, he should have. He should have had a lot more supporting actors. You know. Well, actually, the guy that they picked to uh, play the guy who didn't know he was a cyborg. Yeah. I don't think that was a good part because I mean, it just it didn't appeal to me. Huh. Nico keeps uh Nico keeps asking for an Avengers trailer. Uh, I just don't want to get the wrong one. So, uh, this is Marvel. Oh wait, no, this one only came out a month ago. Is Avengers out yet? No, it releases next two weeks from now, right? If I'm not mistaken. May first. May first. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. So that's in all. Oh, that's. Almost two weeks. Uh, so, here we go. We're going to do a trailer of The Avengers Age of Ultron. Enjoy. I was designed to save the world. People who have looked to the sky and see hope. I'll take that from them first. There's only one path to peace. Their extinction. I tried to create a suit of armor around the world. But I created something terrible. Artificial intelligence. It's called the Ultron program. I'm sick of watching people pay for our mistakes. Is it why we fight so we can end the fight and go home? Well, you amazingly failed. Nothing but our wit and our will save the world. So stand and fight. No way we all get through this. I got no plans tomorrow night. I'm always picking up after you, boys. We can tear them apart. From the inside. That's the best you can do! Bamsky's Avengers. Are you guys ready for May 1st? I'm ready for May 1st. Freaking James Spader, though. So ready. I'm psyched for the, I'm psyched for Avengers. Ah oh, man. So that's uh, what three three good movies already this year, and um, man, there's some there are already some good games that are supposed to come out this year. I don't know, maybe 2015 could turn itself around. Yeah. Maybe sounds like. I mean. Maybe it could be a thing. We can all dare to dream. But of course, we can't. Um, we can't end the movie trailer rally without Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Enjoy.
strong in my family. My father has it. I have it. My sister has it. You have that power too. December. December, guys. Are you ready? That doesn't come out for a while. Oh my god, it sound is still going. There we go. <sighs> yep, that one we have to wait for December, guys. But all right, I'm gonna. It's gonna, I'm gonna be have the it. unpopular opinion here. Go ahead. I find it impossible to be excited about this movie. What Star Wars? Yeah. Go ahead. The the, the I mean the, the trailer it, looked all right, but it didn't look anything like spectacular. The last three movies have been some of the worst atrocities in the history of everything. The franchise has sold out so many times since the days when they were actually good. Okay. And so is the that... thing is, Disney hasn't managed to screw up Marvel yet, but Disney always screws up everything. It well, almost managed to sink Pixar at one point, so. You know, well, oh, of course, you know, a lot of movie producers end up ruining things, but are you coming from a Star Wars lover's perspective or a movie lover's perspective? Kind of both, because the thing is, like, <clears throat> the episode one, two, and three were not very good movies. There were definitely ways in which they were even worse Star Wars movies than they were just movies. But of all the trailers that you've shown, this was the first one where if I didn't know anything about Star Wars, I would have been completely just like, eh, whatever, off of the trailer. Yeah, I guess I could I mean, I had my little that. squee moment when they showed Harrison Ford and Chewbacca, but it's just yeah. there's nothing that really tickled me in this one. Did, did I not? Did I not say that? I'm pretty sure I said that. <laughs> I don't know. It's just Asians yeah, with me. Yeah, it's Disney, but you know, there's always going to be those big Star Wars fans who are just like, you know what? I don't care. They're like, they're all going to always watch it once, whether they hear good things or bad things, right? Oh, obviously. Well, this is like I already know. That there's a good chance the new Jurassic Park isn't going to be that good. They're still going to get all my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks good. Uh, I, I hope it's good. But I mean, I don't know. Things can only things can only happen as they come. I mean, at least the movie, at least the movie industry isn't like the gaming industry, where it's like, hey, let's put out a half-ass fucking game and make people pay for it and then come out with a expansion of that game Peace and out, Brett. make people pay for that which probably I'm just not, I'm just not after. psyched about Star Wars at all well damn I know I'm I know that whole convention was where they <laughs> where they uh, debuted it at I'm sure I'm sure that arena went crazy well yeah they were appealing directly to their fan base there well exactly 
and you, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, good handful of yeah. people go through yeah. just a fucking convention. We will see. But yeah, um, so I think that'll uh, conclude everything for tonight. Unless you guys have a, uh, want to go through a random topic of the night. I would like to talk about the Heffalumps. Let's talk about the Heffalumps. Well, Heffalumps don't exist and therefore aren't really an issue. Well, good point, sir. Dan, your thoughts? Uh, I'm going to have to disagree. Uh, that's... I believe those Heffalumps are very real and are definitely going to be an issue. Adrian, your counter-argument? Smurfs. The defense rests. <laughs> Anyways. The jury will take a recess and evaluate his position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, it was, it, was nice, it was nice casting with you guys. Thank you for uh, being on here with me. Uh, you know what? You're welcome for my beautiful presence. <laughs> You're absolutely welcome. Yeah, we definitely we definitely had some guest issues today, but Mr. Daniel and Adrian pulled through for us. So, uh, everybody, everybody, give them a virtual typed round of applause or whatever that emoji is on freaking Twitch. I will know. take cash donations. <laughs> you can find Adrian on PayPal. Is no. No, we're not going to do that. We don't need donations. Just send me um, a new laptop. Uh, I'll uh, be sure to tweet my address for you. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, um, don't miss don't miss this weekend. More more Hearthstone is going to be going to be hosting the second qualifiers. Uh, we'll be hosting their channel, hopefully on the OE Entertainment. I'll be a moderator. Come by, come stop by and say hi. You know, what's up, moderator? How's it going? You know, whatever. But <laughs> you can also just come to watch. It's Hearthstone. Everybody loves Hearthstone, except those who don't love Hearthstone. Right? There you go. A truer I, statement has never been said. Yeah, yeah. The truest statement of the night. And with that, we leave you guys. Everybody say bye. Everybody say bye to the viewers. Bye, little guys. Clean bye, up, thanks. clean up. Everybody, everywhere. Clean okay, no, I'm not going there. Bye, guys. Peace out. This is Jade Doggin with Elite Cast Episode 10. Signing off. <laughs>